Hey guys, Zach Gross at Creative Liquid Productions. Today on Practicals, we're going to talk about depth of field. In film terms, depth of field is the amount of space in front of your lens that can remain in focus at one time. Shallow depth of field, or shallow focus, means that your depth of field is narrow and less space can stay in focus at one time. Deep depth of field, or deep focus, is the exact opposite. It means that you have a wide depth of field and more space can stay in focus. Depth of field is different than your focal plane, which is the precise distance at which your lens is focused on. While you can only truly be focused at one focal plane at a time, the focus fall off is so gradual in the lens that the human eye can't perceive the change. This wiggle area between what the human eye can see as in focus and out of focus is your depth of field. So in a sense, your depth of field is multiple focal planes grouped together. Many factors affect your depth of field. Your lens choice, how open your aperture is, your camera sensor size, and the distance between your camera and your subject. If you want to create a shallow depth of field, say for an interview shot where you want your subject to be the only thing in focus, here's a couple things you can do. Shoot on longer lenses, 50 millimeter or higher. Next, choose a camera with a larger sensor. And lastly, open your aperture to let more light in. If you want to create deep depth of field, do the reverse. Shoot on wide lenses, 50 millimeter or lower. Next, choose a camera with a smaller sensor. And lastly, close your aperture on your lens to let less light in. Movies employ depth of field for multiple reasons. It can focus an audience's attention on something or someone in the frame. It can connect two shots, such as two over-the-shoulder shots during a conversation, and it can be used to scale up a production and make the film seem bigger than it actually is. If you're looking to scale up your production, think about what you can put in the foreground and the background out of focus to add depth to your frame. Also, set your camera back and zoom in to defocus the foreground and the background around your subject. Well, that's all we got on Depth of Field. Be sure to follow me, Zach Gross, on Twitter, at ZGrody. And be sure to follow Creative Liquid Productions on our website, creativeliquid.com, and on Facebook and Twitter, at Creative Liquid. See you later, guys.